Dahlia DiPolito walking out a free woman after a judge declared a mistrial in her murder for hire retrial. This is Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. A confidential police informant and former lover of Dahlia DiPolito testified in court Tuesday that he was pressured to set DiPolito up for arrest by the Boynton Beach Police Department or else face prosecution. She was accused of trying to hire a hitman to kill her husband. Boynton Beach Police staged a fake crime scene where they told DiPolito her husband was dead and allowed film crews from the TV show Cops to record the entire ordeal. I'm Sergeant Ramsey and we had a report of a disturbance at your house and there were shots fired. Is your husband Michael? Okay, I'm sorry to tell you, ma'am, he's been killed. No, 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 no. He's, he's been killed, ma'am. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Listen. No, no. Try to calm down. No. Listen, right now, what no, we, do, we need to get you to the no, We need to get you to the police station. No, we, I can't let you in, man. We have to do our job. No, if you want us to find his killer. I'm not just 100% sure I want him dead. I'm 200% sure. Wait, no. I'm 5,000% sure I want my husband dead. I'm not what you think I am. I'm not as sweet as you think. I'm a mean little cookie. Yeah, I am quoting, to the best of my recollection, Dahlia DiPolito. You've got to remember this. This woman marries seemingly in love. And the next thing you know, according to police, she's caught on video hiring a hitman to murder her husband. Over what? To get her mitts on a $250,000 condo. Now, according to the husband, and I spoke to him and his lawyer, she tried to kill him before with chai tea from Starbucks. Didn't work. So she decided to go with a hitman who happened to be an undercover agent. And he video and audio taped the whole darn thing. This is Crime Stories. I'm Nancy Grace. I want to thank you for being with us. I'm talking about the Florida black widow, Dahlia DiPolito. And oh, my stars, Meryl Streep, watch out. Because they videoed the whole thing. They set up a sting to make it look like the husband had been killed. They told him what was going on. So they set it up as if he'd been killed. Then they find Dahlia DiPolito. They go tell her. She puts on a performance like no other. Let's take a listen to that audio. And if you could just see the video. But listen to this. Just kick back and enjoy. Roll it, Alan. I'm Sergeant Ramsey. I'm, I'm the one that called you. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry to call you. Listen, we had a report of a disturbance at your house, and there were shots fired. Is your husband Michael... Okay, I'm sorry to tell you, ma'am. He's been killed. No, 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 he's, no. he's been killed, ma'am. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Listen. No, no. Try to calm down. No, no. Listen. Right now, what no, we do, we need to get you to the station. She cries. She bends over in grief, wailing about her dead husband. They take her to the police station. And after questioning her, they let her see him alive and well, and she screams out, Mikey, I didn't do it. My question is, do what? I can't let you see him, ma'am. Ma'am, I cannot do this right now. Ma'am, I can't do it. Detective Yopi, I need you. Well, one trial, the defense was, she was actually trying to be a reality star like the Kardashians. And this whole and thing was you know a TV knows, reality show script. Don't worry, we've already taken care and of she thought right the, under under the uh, hitman was we'll an take actor. Care of everything else, okay? And so this whole Thank thing was a script. Now, my question to that was, well, why didn't she tell the police when they arrested her? Hey, 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 whoa, wait, wait. This was just a reality show script. What are you talking about? No, she never said a word until they finally got to trial about a year and a half later. Then that was the defense. Now, Brian Claypool, the guy at uh, hung jury, defense attorney, fairly well-known, Brian Claypool, says that's no longer the defense. There's a new defense that the police tried to entrap her that they didn't have enough criminals to deal with, that they wanted to frame an innocent person, Dolly DiPolito, so they could be on the show Cops. Before I go to... Very well-known defense attorney, Brian Claypool, who is defending Dahlia this time around. With a brand new defense, I guess the truth changed. I want to thank Simply Safe, our sponsor for making this podcast possible. Simply Safe makes home security affordable at $14.99 a month. It is so simple to install. They even have a video online 
and I swear my children who are nine years old could install this thing. A thing I like about it is that it is not connected to your landline or your cell phone. So if someone were to cut the line to your home, this security alarm is not dependent on that. It's got its own cell activation. So you don't have to worry about that. It's just not right that wealthy people can have home security and everybody else cannot. Well, Simply Safe has fixed that. Go to simplysafe.com slash nancy and get another 10% off. Thank you, Simply Safe. Joining me right now is the attorney for Dahlia DiPolito, yet another black widow in my book, Brian Claypool. He is no stranger to the courtroom. Brian Claypool, you know, I, I just, it hurts me to see you thrown in the same pot stewing with Dahlia DiPolito. I mean, <laughs> hey, all I can say is, all I can say is don't take a chai tea from this woman, okay? <laughs> I mean, because you know, this Nancy. ain't her first time at the rodeo. Yeah. Her husband told me point blank that she tried to kill him before this with some chai tea from Starbucks. What is that anyway? I don't even know what chai tea is, but whatever it is, he, the husband, says she tried to kill him with that and it didn't work, Brian. I, yeah, I, I've yet to have coffee at Starbucks with Dahlia. But but I'll tell you this much. Remember Nancy Law School 101. Remember that doctrine. Remember that doctrine that you got taught about fruit of the poisonous tree. It's it's a basic oh, not legal that again. concept. That, remember that one. Well, that's that's what this case is about. It's it's about police officers and law enforcement who can't break the rules, violate the law, and then use the evidence they've generated from 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 a corrupt investigation to implicate somebody, even if you think that person is guilty. It's it's basic law 101. Brian, let me understand this. Um, your your defense is it no longer that she, when she hired a hitman to kill her husband, and it's all caught on video, which I love. I love watching Dahlia DiPolito, especially when they tell her the husband is dead. And she's like, no, no. I love that yeah. so much, and she bends over in grief. Blah blah blah. Anyway, uh, yeah. I also like the, I also like the one where she's got in the car with the hitman, and the whole thing is bugged, and you know, got tricked out with video, and she's not just a hundred percent sure. She says, "What I'm a five thousand percent sure I want him dead." Now, I thought your defense was that that was really a script for a reality show. Is that not the no, defense that, anymore? No, that that remember this the second trial we did was in late November. And we got a jury, uh, we got a, a hung jury in early December. And in fact, I, I know, I, I, I brace yourself. I, I, I don't want you to pass out. Or I'm braced. But, but five jurors in our favor. It was three to three, and then there were two alternate jurors in the last trial. Mm-hmm. And, and one of the TV shows, uh, I believe it was Dateline, tracked them down, the two alternates. And guess what? Five, I, I, what? I, must have been, I must have been able to put something in the coffee of those five jurors because they voted to acquit Dahlia DiPolito. And in fact, Nancy... Wait, 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 wait. How, did, wait, wait. How many jurors were there? 50? Yeah, well, well, in Florida, in Florida, and by the way, we're going to have the third trial. I don't know if you knew this. The third tra- retrial of Dahlia DiPolito takes place. It starts on, on June 2nd. Uh, I could not be happier. I could not be happier. I may just have to come down there and watch you, Brian Claypool. Yeah. Now, what, I, I, something very serious you said before you started talking about this juror and that juror did this one and that one according to Dateline. Uh, first, they were alternates, thank God in heaven. But you said, oh, that was the defense at the second trial. So you've got a different defense? That's not the defense no, anymore, they, that it was all a script? Yeah. Yeah, no, right. The, the 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 reality script is not is not part of the defense for Dahlia. Well, why? Diplomito. If it's the truth, because that's not because it's not true. the 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 reality is this, and a lot of your a lot of your well, listeners wait, she sat there in play. court and let her lawyer say all the things she said to a hitman. She thought that yeah, was a that script. Was, that was bad. That yeah. Those naughty trial, lawyers. And, yeah, no, it it it's uh, yeah. I, I mean, you keep you keep coming back to this chai tea or latte. I mean, I think something something must have been in that <laughs> that chai latte of her first lawyer to, to come up with that. Well, what's the defense, defense this time? 
It, wait, is the defense this time that the police did it? It's their fault. Oh, I'm just so happy. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, look, it's not. It's not. It's not. Nancy, it's not that it's their fault. But what a lot of your I try not to laugh not out loud. Because no, they, okay, I'm trying not to laugh out loud. That first phone what? call, people don't realize this. The first phone call made by the confidential informant to the Boynton mm-hmm. Beach Police Department reported a domestic abuse concern. And that mm-hmm. person reported that he that, that Dahlia said the following. Okay, here's what she said, Nancy. Here's okay, I'm said. listening. I can't wait. Yeah, she said what? two things. She said, number one, I've been I've been physically abused by my husband, and I I I either want to be dead or he needs to be dead. That is the context of the first phone call. And the uh, problem that the state prosecutor okay. is going to have in this case, again, is that nobody took serious this domestic abuse call. They didn't, they didn't filter that out, vet it okay. at all. Okay, hold on. Let, let me dead. go back. I want to go back what? even earlier than that, Brian Claypool. Is it true that Dahlia DiPolito, first date with her husband, was when he paid her because she was a hooker? No, God. Yeah. Is she she hey, was not an escort? Laugh, whenever I'm down and out and I need a good laugh, I'm going to call you for some quotes. <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me she was not a hooker? <laughs> that, that is comical. I mean, Wait, I you are you telling me she was not a hooker? On the Dolly case. That, 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 was that she, a, was she an escort? She was not an escort. Mike, listen, you're... Listen, Nancy, you're 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 believing a convicted felon who who propagated that story. Here's a guy who stole oh, money okay. from elderly folks. Now that's what he says. He says that she was an escort, and that's how he met her. Why would you believe somebody who lies to elderly folks and bilks money out of them? Uh, yeah, you're a smart well, woman. Cer- they you're were certainly the perfect for met. each other. You're not going to fall for that Mike DiPolito trap, are you? Watch out. Um, Look out. Yeah, probably. Then how That's did they meet? You know what? Yeah, oh. I know you're going to think this is a joke, and I'm not trying to. I'm not. Trying what to in Sunday school? Again, but they met at a Starbucks. Yes, it was a Starbucks. So. That's where they met. Okay, and because he, I'm looking at evidence. I'm looking at evidence right now, which are texts from her phone, where she is, um, where she's saying hi. And she's using her pseudo name. And he goes, great, let's hook up next week. But question, can we forget the hourly fee and just go out for drinks? Is that Dahlia's phone or my, or my ex-girlfriend's phone? I can't, which one is it? And then he says, um, how are you coming dressed? I would love you in a real short skirt with pink underwear, if that's okay. She writes back, sure. And she is setting up a hookup for money. So you're telling me that's not a hooker? Yeah, that's not that. I, I, that I haven't no, seen no, that. No, absolutely I, not. I don't know where. No, I, I haven't Try. seen that, Nancy. That wasn't that's that would never come in. That's never going to come into evidence anyway. You know that. Even, even if that's true, and I didn't say it was true. coming into evidence. I'm asking you what the it's truth not, is. Well, I'll evidence, tell you where I saw it. Look, it's I, in I, the New I, Times I, at Broward Palm Beach. Newspaper. That's believe, where it is. The New Times. I believe my. Cli- it's printed. I believe my client. I believe. I believe that's fiction, and I don't. There's no proof that's her phone, and that she's making those text messages. It's all hearsay. So, so I, I don't put any value into that at all. I mean, I, I've known mm-hmm. her for over two two years now. I've got to know her family. Nobody wants to know the human side of her. I mean, everybody. I think I know the human side. I think I know Pardon that me? Brian Claypool. I think I know the human side because she was on house arrest with her mother and had the right to go to her lawyer and to church. And somehow she got pregnant. How'd that happen on house arrest? Yeah. I think she went somewhere else. Hey, you aren't suggesting I'm the dad, are you? No, I hadn't thought of that. But now that you brought it up. (laughs) Come on. Hey, wait. Come on. You think I'm are you suggesting that at one of those lawyers, one of her meetings with the lawyers, maybe that didn't take place at the legal office? Uh, who knows? I don't know. I am just looking at all the texts 
that this woman is sinning, but you still say she was never a hooker. Okay. It looks like you're I mean, under I, Dahlia DiPolito's spell. I'm worried about you, Brian Claypool. Well, 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 well do, do, hey, hey, Nancy, you know that Dolly actually mentors some of the some of the people at church. She goes, she religiously. Oh, dear goes Lord to in heaven. Time. So, you know, people, you've been in cases before where people are portrayed one way in the public, but they're not really. That's not really who they are. You know, so so do, Dolly. So let me understand round. this. You say she was not a hooker. That she met her husband. Slash not a hooker. What else? What else? Would be would be murder victim at a she Starbucks, never tried to, and to put, that she never tried to put water or uh, or engine coolant in her husband's coffee. That was another fiction. It was story. chai that was tea. Good. That was good Go ahead. And then you're saying the first defense that she sat there and and lived through, where she, they claimed in front of a jury that. All the things she said caught on tape and the way she cried and carried on when they told the cops told her he was dead, but actually it was a sting to see what she would do. They found out about it through the alleged hitman, and the husband wasn't killed. And then when she saw the husband at the police station, she goes, Mikey, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Do what? <laughs> Why would she say that? Anyway, okay, so... You're saying that was not that was not true. So the defense this time is going to be what? What's your defense? Yeah, the, the defense this time is that the police department not only violated its own policies and procedures in trying to set her up and lure her. Mm-hmm. You know what it's like, Nancy? You know what it was like? You ever, you ever, have you ever gone fishing as a girl growing up? You throw that line out into the lake and you start pulling, you know, twisting and turning pulling your line in and trying to hook a fish. That's exactly what this police department did. They were, they were trying, mm-hmm. luring her in, hooking her in, trying to get her on. Yeah. Camera. And not Cause they that, have not so only. many resources. They don't have enough dopers and killers and sex offenders. They got to go try and get Dahlia DiPolito, not a hooker. Okay. So they spend their spare time trying to frame an innocent person. Okay. Oh, absolutely. You want to know why? Let me, let me tell you. Why? Nancy, Nancy, you always, you always talk about motive, don't you, right? You always talk about motive. Let me give you the motive real quick. We uh, found an I'm, email. I'm, I'm, I'm on my pins and needles. Yeah, okay. All right, br- brace yourself again. I don't want the paramedics over a second time, but here, here's another one. We found an email uh, for the second trial. The, the chief mm-hmm. of police is sending an email out to everybody at the police department saying, hey, let me know when that view it when the first episode of Cops comes out with Dolly in it, so we can have a big viewing party. Ha ha ha! Well, gee whiz, the, the, that the really doesn't bother more, me. They're more worried about a good TV show for cops than they are a pole. No, in the they're wall. not. That's your defense. Look, Dolly DiPolito tried to kill her husband at least once, so she could get a hold of his condo, and it was all on video. And that happened to be when cops was in that jurisdiction filming. And that's what happened. And then when it was all over, she's so obviously guilty, they were going to watch it and get a kind of a laugh off of it because they couldn't believe anybody would be so darn dumb as Dahlia DiPolito. Well, Nancy, I'm going to throw you, I'm going to throw you a consolation prize now. If you, if I I get Dahlia, here's my consolation prize to you. If I get Dahlia acquitted in June, (laughs) I'm going to force you to meet her. We're going to all meet for coffee at Starbucks. I want to meet her, but I don't, I'm not drinking any coffee. Have, I'm not drinking any coffee. coffee. Okay. I, uh, you're going to have a face-to-face with her. Okay? I'm going to bring to my own. I'm bringing my own coffee in a thermos. You can count on that, oh, friend. Okay. 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 Uh, Brian oh, Claypool, it, I'm afraid the defense is going to change by the time you finally take it to trial, Brian Claypool. Okay, Claypool. See you in court, right, man. Nancy. Thanks for being with us. Yeah. See you soon, Nancy. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, love. Bye-bye. Okay, Alan. Alan, did you hear that? That was incredible. <laughs> that yeah, was amazing. Yeah, I Nancy, love that Nancy, guy. That's... Oh, he's still here. Hello. If you do get her acquitted, I want to come to that coffee oh, brunch. I'm bring, I'm bring, I, see, what is, is it with you men? Can't you see through her? Don't get near her with a 10-foot pole, and for Pete's sake, don't have coffee with her. <laughs> okay. trying to we're, save we're gonna, your darn lives here i'm trying to save your life we're gonna, we're gonna claypool all, you better we're watch gonna, out we're gonna we're claypool gonna i'm serious over but, but i'm not gonna let you look she would love nothing more than to marry a, 
she would love to nothing more than to marry a successful lawyer like there you and then off you. I, I yeah, I mean I I, mm. I mean the there were rumors floating around that, that the kid was mine for a while, but. Well, I mean, I'm sorry to, to disappoint I you, Brian, I, I, but I have not heard I don't want that. You, look, you already think so lowly of me for defending you. I don't want you to think worse. I can assure you one fact. It's not my baby, okay? It's not. Good to know. Good to know. And you know what Shakespeare said? <laughs> Methinks thou doth protest too much. <laughs> <laughs> You're too funny. Again, I want to thank Simply Safe for being with us on this podcast. Simply Safe, thank you for making home security affordable because I want to protect my family and I'm sure everybody else does too. Thank you. Simply safe. Nancy Grace, Crime Stories, signing off. Goodbye, friend.